Now the first step is to perform a clean installation of your graphics card driver. So if you have NVIDIA card, go to NVIDIA website. If you have AMD card, go to AMD website. I'm showing for NVIDIA. So go to NVIDIA website, select your graphic card from the list. Make sure that you select your graphic card, your operating system, and then click on Find. And on this page, you will see the latest GeForce Game Ready driver at the top. So right now, 580.88, this is the latest one. Whichever is the latest, click on View, and then you can download this file. And once the download is complete, uh, you can run this exe file and then click on yes to allow and then click on OK and then click on agree and continue. Select custom. Next, put a check on the box which says perform a clean installation. Make sure that you put a check over here and then click on next. After the clean installation, restart it computer. And after the system restart, launch the game and then check. Still not working. Then now AMD card users uninstall the current graphic card driver, restart the computer, go to AMD website. Select your graphic card, install the latest graphic card driver, restart your computer, and then launch the game. Now, run the game on dedicated graphic card. Now, for this, type in graphic settings in Windows search box and then click on graphic settings. Click on add desktop app and then go to the game installation folder. So, wherever the game is installed, if the game is installed in C drive, go to C drive, program file 686. Now, open the Steam folder. Now, open the Steam apps folder. Now, open the common folder. And find the game, open the game folder, open the game folder over here, binaries, Win64, select the game exe file and then click on add. Once the game is added over here, click on the game over here and for GPU preference set it to high performance. You will see your graphic card over here, now you can launch the game. Next, uh, now desktop users make sure that you connect the display cable or HDMI cable to the dedicated graphic card slot. So if your computer has a dual graphic card, one is Intel, another is NVIDIA or AMD. So make sure that you connect the display cable or HDMI cable to the dedicated graphic card slot, not the motherboard slot. Now the next step is to try DX11 or DX12 in the launch option. Now for this, make a right click in the game, select properties. In the launch option, type in dash DX11. Now you can launch the game and then check. If that does not work, go to properties once again. This time you can type in dash DX12. Now you can launch the game and then check still not working. You can remove this, follow the next step. Now the next step is to rename or delete the config folder. When you rename or delete the config folder, all the saved settings will be lost and this will regenerate the shaders. So to rename or delete the config folder, you can go to File Explorer, go to this PC, open C drive, now open Users folder, now open your username folder. Open app data. If you don't see app data at the top, click on view, select show, put a check on hidden items and then open app data folder. Open the local folder and open this mafia, the old country folder, save folder, config folder. Make a right click, create a backup if you want. And once you have a backup created, now you can make a right click and then you can rename it or you can delete this folder and then you can relaunch the game and then check. This will regenerate the shaders now still not working rename the save game files save game folder when you rename the save game folder uh, all the save game progress will be lost so create a backup first for this you can go to the same location go back again back over here in this location uh, you will find this hangar 13 games folder and here you can see the game folder and where here you can find the save game files so go back and rename this complete hangar 13 folder or you can rename this mafia the old country folder so you can just create a backup copy this paste to the desktop and once you have a backup over here now you can make a right click and then you can rename this folder all the saved settings uh, all the saved game files all the same game progress will be lost you have to start everything from scratch but you already have a backup so you can try this and then you can launch the game and then check still not working the next step is to rename slpcl.dll file now for this you can make a right click the game select manage now click on browse local files open mafia the old country plugins folder third party nvidia dlss 4810 streamline port binaries third party win64 here you can see the game sl.pcl.dll file copy create a backup first so 
once you have a backup of this file now you can rename this file make a right click and then you can rename it dot old and then you can launch the game and then check it. if you face any problem you can you already have a backup so you can put the file back if you face any problem now the next step is to launch the game from the game installation folder so instead of launching the game from here make a active in the game select manage to control local files and then open mafia the old country folder binaries win64 make a double click launch the game from here and then check if that does not work make a right click go to properties go to this tab put a check on the box which says run this program as an administrator hit apply click on ok make a double click launch the game and then check still not working this time put a check over here select windows 8 over here hit apply click on ok make a double click launch the game still not working this time you can try windows 7 over here and then hit apply click on ok launch the game still not working put a check on disable full screen optimization hit apply click on ok make a double click launch the game and then set it now when you put a check on all these boxes still not working then in that case you can uncheck these boxes hit apply click on ok follow the next step now the next step is to if you are using any third party antivirus like Avast, Norton, Bitdefender, McAfee, whichever antivirus program you have allow the game exe file to antivirus program now if you are using windows security then open windows settings go to privacy and security go to windows security and then click on virus and threat protection scroll down at the bottom you will see manage ransomware protection click on it click on allow an app through control folder access click on yes to allow click on add and allow app browse all apps now go to the game installation folder and then open the game folder and then select the game exe file over here and then click on open now type in control panel in windows search box go to control panel system and security windows defender firewall click on allow an app or feature through windows defender firewall change settings allow another app click on browse and then go to the game installation folder open the game folder and then select the game exe file and then click on open once the game is added over here now click on add in my case the game is already added so once you have the game added over here now you can launch the game and then check still not working the next step is to verify the game file this is important so make a right click on the game select properties go to install files tab and then click on verify integrity of game files once the verification is 100 percent complete launch the game and then check still not working try power saver mode now for this type in control panel in windows search box and then go to control panel now go to hardware and sound and then go to power options now once you open power saver in my case i have only one plan that is balanced in your case you might see this power saver so if you see power saver select power saver over here and then you have to relaunch the game and then check you can even try balanced you can even go for high performance check which one is working fine for you so try power saver first now if you're using this uh, software that is intel extreme tuning utility software in that case if you're not using it you can install it you can search in google install it and then if the performance core ratio is set to like 58 or 59 x you can try my, my maybe 56 x or maybe 55 or maybe 54 x and then once you lower down the performance core ratio hit apply and then you can launch the game and then check still not working the next step is to increase the virtual memory now to increase the virtual memory type in view advanced system settings in windows search box and then click on view advanced system settings under advanced click on the first settings over here and then go to advanced tab click on change over here uncheck the box which says automatically manage paging file and then you have to select the drive where the game is installed and then select custom size over here once you select custom size now first of all uh, in you can try this uh, this works in my case so you can try this initial size is 1.5 multiplied total ram so you can check total ram in your computer go to uh, windows settings go to system and then you can go to about option and then over here in my case the total ram is 16 gigabyte now total ram and in initial is 1.5 multiplied total ram so we have to convert this gigabyte into megabyte so in my case it's 16 so you have to calculate as per your ram 
Now, for me, it's 16 gigabyte multiplied 1024, that is 16384 megabyte multiplied 1.5 is total. This is the initial size, that is 24576. And for maximum size, it's 3 multiplied total RAM. So, total RAM is in my case 16 gigabyte multiplied 1024, that is megabyte multiplied 3 is maximum size 49152 49152 and then click on set ok apply ok ok now restart your computer after the system restart you can launch the game and then check if that does not work go to view advanced system settings once again and then this time you can click on the first settings advanced tab change and then this time you select system manage size and then click on set ok Rest you have to restart your computer after apply ok and then restart your computer after the system restart launch the game still not working you can just set everything to default you can open first settings advance change and you can just if it is not working you can select automatic and then just set it to default and then follow the next step Restart your computer and then follow the next step. Next step is to disable Steam overlay. Now for this, you can go to Steam, make a right click in the game, select properties, and turn off the option which says enable the Steam overlay while in game, and then launch the game. Also close all the other overlay application. So if you're running Discord, you can go to Discord settings, turn off overlay in Discord settings. If you're running Nvidia app, you can open Nvidia app and then you can go to settings and turn off nvidia overlay if this is on you can turn this off also close all the other overlay application do not overclock if you have overclocked your computer set it to default close all the overclocking application like msi afterburner reva tuner or any kind of overclocking application is running uh, you can just close all the overclocking application and then launch the game also unplug all the external devices which you are not using so if you have hotas wheel pedals any kind of usb adapter connected disconnected disconnect extra controller sometimes we have extra controller connected disconnected disconnect multiple monitor try launching the game on single monitor if you have any third party services or application running close it if you have underworld the computer remove the underworld and then launch the game next step is to install visual c++ file for this copy this link the link is provided in the video description open this link in a browser it will take you to microsoft website on this website scroll down here you can see visual studio files download this x86 and x64 download this x86 and then you can run this exe file if you see the repair option click on repair if you see the install button hit install download this x64 file as well and then run this exe file again if you see the repair option click on repair if you see the install button hit install and let the installation complete make sure you install both the files and then restart it together the restart is a must after this and after the system restart you can launch the game and then check still not working the next step is to update windows to the latest version this is important so open windows settings go to windows update or update and security and then click on check for update once all the updates are installed over here then restart the computer and after the system restart launch the game and then check still not working update the system bios so go to your system manufacturer website select your model number and then make sure that you select your model number and then update the bios in case of laptop make sure battery is more than 10 percent and the AC adapter is connected to the computer when you update the system BIOS. Next step is to, if you are able to launch the game, if you are not able to launch the game, you can skip this step. If you are able to launch the game, switch to window mode. You can try turning off the V-Sync. If it is already off, you can turn on the V-Sync. Lower down graphic settings. Suppose all the graphic settings is set to like ultra, you can set it to high or medium and then apply the settings and then check. Last step is to install the game to SSD. If the game is installed to HDD, try to install the game to SSD. If that does not work, uninstall and reinstall the game to different drives. So you can make a right click on the game, manage, uninstall. Now after the uninstall, uh, restart your computer and then install the game to C drive. So if the game is installed to different drive like D drive or E drive, try to install the game to C drive and then check. If the game is already installed to C drive, try installing the game to another SSD and then check. So one of the steps shown in this video should help you to run this game successfully on your Windows computer. So that'll be all. Thank you so much for your time. And please like this video and subscribe to my channel.